Here we go with fight 11 of the evening here at XFC Demolition Fight Night 1. Our final pro fight of the evening, and it's my favourite one back there, heavyweight. Mate, I know you love the big boys, and you know what? So do I. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love the big boys throwing down? Anything can happen when the big boys throw down. That's what I love about it. Cam Dempsey, he's not your stereotypical big boy. He's a purple belt in Bedin Jiu-Jitsu. Very impressive amateur record. Uh, bronze medal, if I'm not mistaken, at the IAAMF. 217 Amateur World Championship in the heavyweight division, so he can grapple. 100%. And, and you know what? Tonight against DJ, probably going to have to. He will. He'll have to shoot and get it down. Elite Training Center there in Geelong, Rich Poole. He's uh, producing some dead set killers at the moment. Ryan Mills, Dean McNay, Jason Petropoulos, Travis May, and my old favorite, the Bulldog Peter Davenport. So very high caliber gym. Cam is a very, very high level grappler. So. We'll see if he can implement his game plan tonight. Yeah, I mean, an amateur record of 6-1. and one. He's 1-1 one one as a pro. And that one win is against who he's fighting tonight. Look to double it up here against DJ. And I was talking to Cam before upstairs, and mate, he's, all, he's all down for that. They were actually like, DJ wanted this fight again. I dominated him, you know? And he, mate, he... He didn't hesitate. He's like, yeah, I'll fight him again. He'll go the same game plan. That's why. But we know DJ's got that knockout power, that legitimate blink and you're out knockout power. So obviously you'll have a different game plan this time around. Oh, and here he is. The main eventer of XFC 41, the title challenger. He lost that night to Justin Tapper. Like I said, I was talking to him before, and he's like, I will not lose this fight. I want this rematch. I will get it done. I've been training specifically for this fight. Come down from Canberra a couple of hours down the road. You know, it... Stockade, it, yeah. Adam Sanderson, man, is very impressive. Oh, mate. You know, he tra trains with the likes of Benny Edwards, Juki Didier. Shout out to those two guys. Especially Benny Edwards, who just announced his retirement, retirement yeah. from, from fighting altogether. Stall and, horde of Australian and combat I, sports. Mate, I'll spend 10 seconds. I'm telling you, mate, how much I used to love that. Watch it. Hey, mate, come back. Give me one more fight. <laughs> I'll get him back in the XFC cage. If you're listening, I'm getting you back, Benny Edwards. <laughs> but it's all about DJ tonight. I don't, put you on the spot. I don't want to put you on the spot, but does the winner of this go close to a title shot? Yeah, mate, I really do think they do. I mean, the heavyweight division in Australia, you may only have about a dozen guys That's in right. it, you know. So, um, like I said, DJ title shot before, lost that fight. Justin Taffer, the winner, got into the UFC, got onto the main card of the pay-per-view. I actually interviewed DJ, and I said, mate, if you won that fight, do you think you'd get in? And you know what? He probably would have. He would have, yeah. Yep, here's Justin Charles to announce him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is three rounds in the XFC Heavyweight Division, proudly sponsored by Fight Kingdom. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of one win and one loss. He stands 186 centimeters tall, weighing in at 120.2 kilograms. Fighting out of Elite MMA, presenting Cam Dempsey! <laughs> and introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of three wins and two losses. He stands 186 centimeters tall and weighing in at 120.2 kilograms. Fighting out of Stockade MMA, presenting David DJ Romanga Dame And your referee in charge, Chris Shen. Here we go, heavyweight contest here at XFC Demolition Fight Night number one. Striker versus Grapple. Yeah, will it be 2-0 oh for Cam or will David even the score? Big right hand lands early. Oh! Cam moving in for that clinch like you said, mate. Shoot straight away. How much has David trained this? 
Mate, I guarantee he's trained this a bunch. Got to get the underhooks in, though. 100%. We, mate, we learned that from the last yeah, fight, didn't Jasper we? Jasper Dumphy, there exactly right. He's got the there underhook. There it is. There's that underhook. Control and body position. To circle off the cage now and separate. Doesn't Kim. want to be here. Cam, nice head position, digging for that. Good inside knee, too. Little half, yeah, he's got half an under underhook there. Working knees. And DJ must have expected this. Oh, of course. It's, it's Cam's game. Cam's always going to come in and she's not going to stand there and try and get into a slugfest with a guy that's got David's power. So, again, Adam Sanderson would have drilled this a thousand times with DJ. Yeah, and, and Adam just shouted out then, it's all about wrist control. Spot on. Spot on. Looks pretty unfazed so far, Dave. He's calling out for head position. Cam really controlling that at the moment. Couple of body shots there by Cam. He's actually punching the inner thigh. Please don't do that to me. I won't. Way too close for comfort. <laughs> the knee's there for Dave, but if he throws it and gets caught, he's going to get taken down. So strategically, maybe putting the knees and kicks away today. He looks very relaxed. Because he knows he knew this was coming. Like, yeah. There's no surprise here. Yeah. He's definitely trained this an absolute bunch. He's got that overhook. Really needs that underhook. He's digging for it. Tiring for both fights, particularly Cam. DJ staying relaxed though. You can see just by his he face. And maintaining the wrist control. Yeah. The right hand of Cam isn't getting anywhere near to clinching or clenching together to execute the takedown. You know what? That, that's all well and good, but he, he still needs space to strike. Oh, well, Cam's winning the round right now, so... 100%. He can't stand there for 15 minutes. He's going to lose a decision. Looking for an ankle, maybe? Yeah, Cam changing levels. Go the foot stomp. Oh, that was a bit low. Yeah, oh, the ref, no. Nah. He's not going to stop it. I think he's seen that, but he was like, fair. yeah, maybe that wasn't too bad. It was fair. And again, the little body uppercuts. He's busy, Cam. I like the fact that he's busy. Oh, he's punching the inside of the knee, the outside of the knee. That's dirty. That looked low too, actually. Chris is right in there. He's having a good look. Ooh. He's experienced referee, Chris Shen. So if it, if it hits below the belt, he'll call it straight away. He's really working that left leg of DJ. Right, this is two and a half minutes of this so far. Oh, good a couple shot. of strikes lands. He's... Oh, Cam's got the hands clenched now. Oh, well oh, done by job. DJ. Good job. Got to work those underhooks. Try on the underhook on the left side. He's trying to squeeze it through. Goes for wrist control instead. Yeah, following instruction from his corner well. But once again, Cam still winning the round with this. Yeah, inside knee again. You know what, maybe, maybe this is the plan as well, mate. You know, DJ knows that this is going to happen. Maybe he goes, you know what, for a round. Let I'm it go. I'm going to do this. As long as I don't get taken down. Yep. Let him wear out a little bit, and then we'll throw some bombs. Now, cardio will be a question for sure. Well, you know, before his last fight, DJ was telling me he was only training twice a week against, you know, for yeah, Justin Taffer. And you can't. And not you not can't. against. And he knew that, yeah. you know, and he said, you know, I'm never. He said I was stupid. That was really, really stupid of me, and I'm never, ever going to do that again. And he's been training his ass off for this oh, fight. Fighters make bad decisions. It's about how they fix that moving forward, and he's clearly changed his ways. He's going to underhook. He's going to need that cardio. I reckon there's room there. He's just got to push off and rotate. Push and rotate, get you back off the cage, give yourself some space. Yep. I mean, Cam's relentless, though. This, this is his world. It's his world, but David's got to do something here. Cam continues to change levels. He's throwing strikes. He's scoring points. Now, David's not under any danger right now, but he's going to lose the first round at this rate with 50 seconds to go. He's smiling, though. You know, I mean, he knows what's going on. He's stopping it. He's like, damn it, coach. We knew this was coming. Look at him. Risk, Risk control. control. He's doing all the right. Look, he's, low. he's actually, you know what? I think he's enjoying stopping the takedown. Do you reckon he's winning the mental battle, maybe? Maybe. Maybe that's where his head's at with this. He's like, you know what? Because last fight, he just kept taking me down. Yep. This time, he's had, he's had me up against the cage for a good solid four and a half minutes and can't nothing. get me down. He's got nothing. Doesn't mean he's winning the fight, but... Uh, it's a three-round fight. You give a round away if it's part of your strategy. Ten seconds left. Here's the clacker. Now he tries to move off the cage. And there it is. That was a good four and a half minutes on that one panel of the fence over there, Josh. Uh, the 
Kings MMA cage holding up very well, which is a good sign. And shout out to Hoshi. So we're going to see the caliber of corner here now. So Rich Poole, Jason Petropoulos are going to absolutely say, same again, brother. Same, same again, again here. Rinse and repeat. Get him against. This time, I reckon they're going to ask for a bit more of a level change. Get those hands together. Fight the wrist control off. Execute the takedown. Adam Sanderson, on the other hand, though, you've got to keep your distance. He's got to keep. Don't throw any kicks. Don't look for the knees because they're going to generate a potential takedown. Keep the hands in the face. And against my earlier advice, you're probably going to not set up too many punches here. Try and find that knockout early on. Throw the haymaker, see if you can connect. Just looking over at DJ in the corner, and he's very, I mean, he's, bre he's not breathing heavy. Um, he looks in fantastic shape for this one. Well, well, Cam wasn't changing levels that much. He wasn't like shooting for continuous double true, legs. So true. he hasn't had to exert that much energy there, DJ. Still needs to come up with a new plan this round, though, doesn't he? Well, we're going to see now his diversity. Has he got the diversity in his game plan? to mitigate the obvious strength of, of Cam. And he's going to come straight at him again here. Again, back against the cage. There it is. Might have his hands together on that single. He does. Hands are clasped. No, there's that underhook. Under Good job. But now he's got to move, maneuver body position now. He's fighting for the second underhook. This would be big if he can get it. Sneaky little fence grab there. Chris slaps it away. He's gone for the ankle pick, Cam Dempsey. Again, wrist control. So it's well drilled, but it's not effective enough to win in this fight. Yeah, he still needs to turn it. Still needs to get his back off the cage so he gets some space to throw some strikes. Cam just doing his thing. Oh, this is Cam Dempsey 101. This, yep. is, this is where he lives. Yep. You know you're fighting Cam, this is what you're up against, and you've got to stop it. Well, he's had plenty, ample time to prepare the game plan, and whilst he's avoided the takedown, which was a significant part of the first fight, it's business as usual realistically here. Now he's trying to manoeuvre, though. Cam's is pushing 120.2 kilos as of yesterday, so probably whack on four or five more since then against the cage. So although it's not doing anything from a damage perspective, it's hard for David. That's a lot of weight for David to try and move. Yeah, 100%. But this is MMA, mate. You know, it's not all about striking. It's not all about knocking people out. I hear. You know, for I some hear. people, it's all about control. And this is what he's doing. Potential XFC heavyweight title shot on the line. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but maybe. Just putting it out there. Some motivation DJ's for DJ. Laughing. DJ was literally yeah, laughing. It's a, it's a frustration laugh. It probably is, mate, to be honest. You've nailed that. Cam staying busy again. Christian's not going to separate him when Cam is continually striking, throwing knees, even punching the inside of one thigh. You know, I've seen this a lot in a lot of fights in the past. People go in there with the game plan to stop the other guy's game plan. And they don't work on their own one. Yeah, and they still lose the fight. And they're happy that they've stopped it. Yep. But unfortunately... Oh, and there Single it is. leg. Finally got him down. He's throwing a leg over. Look for rubber guard. Yep. DJ is trying to push... Look at the welts on DJ's back from the cage just yeah. ripping into his skin. Yeah. Just He's got full Is mount full mount? Purple, oh, wow. Purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. Don't forget that. So Cam can finish quite easily from this position. The number of submissions he can go for here. Good job by DJ. He Grab has. Half. Back to half guard. Bit what? of a hip escape. Got in the half guard. Once again, would have been drilling the crap out of this. Hip escapes again. Yep. So it's a different fighter from last time, but right now... Same result. Yep. Yeah, he really does need to try and get back up. His feet. He needs separation. He needs to get those tree trunk legs off him. Look at Cam Dempsey's thighs. That's a big dude, my friend. And that's a lot of weight to ride as well. Two minutes to go still in round two. What can DJ do here? And you know what? If you Cam, you've had you know a good sort of eight and a half minutes of control. You, you, you want to score, you know, you, you're winning the fight with pressure, you're winning the fight with grappling, but you do want to start landing some strikes to open up that, you know, the Oh, you need game. to, and you need to make sure that the judges are seeing what you're seeing. I mean, the last fight, someone scored a 28-28 for yes. Joey Karami, and yep. I mean, Joey got, got hammered for three rounds, let's be honest, so you just don't know what the judge sees, as you said earlier. 
Yeah, well, that's it, mate. It's all about position on the cage. I mean, when we're calling the fight, sometimes we're like, we don't have a good angle on that. Mm. We don't have a good angle on that. And and it's the same for them. Yeah, and what's to say that takedown offense scores more points than takedown defense? Mate, I totally agree. A hundred percent. A couple of nice left hands there from Cam. Hey, where's the elbow from Cam? The left elbow right here. You're whacking that in DJ's face for sure. Good. Minute to go, round two. Last pro fight of the evening. Two amateur title fights to follow. He's oh, look out. He's, oh. oh, he tried. She's got to get on that hip, Josh, doesn't he? It's, he does. And he needs a butterfly or something like that. To try and sweep here when you got Cam in single, unless you're looking at a you know a tenth planet electric chair or something like that, they're very difficult. He's got a butterfly in now on the right hand side. Yep, that's better. Here he goes. Gives it up right now. He's trying to walk himself out. Cam's just he's got two butterflies in. Nice right hand. Plenty there. of sweeps from here for David. But Cam just too strong. Back to full guard. And DJ just trying to get off any strike he can from the bottom here. Finally getting a touch in. And that's two in the books for Cam Dempsey. It is. 100% that is. We're going to see here, we're going to see a lot now. So you said, DJ's fought for the XFC heavyweight title. Clearly one of the, the premier heavyweights in the country and has been completely dominated in the first two rounds. So if he is as good... As everyone thinks he is, he has to manipulate his game plan here to do something completely different. Yeah, 100%. I mean, at the start of both rounds, you know, he's standing very upright, trying to land some strikes, but that just gives Cam the opportunity to get down on his hips. I don't know how well you read, you know, facial image, but he looks a bit dejected, DJ. Oh, I mean, I mean, he spent 10 minutes either against the cage or on his back. So, you know, his game's to stand up and bang, and he spent, you know, the better part of two rounds not doing that. He's got to find something here. You know Cam's going to basically run it in at the start of this battle. He's going to run. He's not going to throw many strikes, and he's going to try and clinch against the cage. So even simple angles, just use your angles. As Cam comes towards you, angle out to the left. Make him chase you for a while. And look at Cam. Hands up, ready to just do it again. Yeah, he's, he's like... Proposing he wants to stand there and strike. He's going to run at him. Oh! Oh, he might have landed there. DJ! And he oh, shoots. and there is the shot. That's a good shot. We had the five seconds of throat, and he's got to move. He's got to work here. He yeah. hasn't got his back on the ground yet. Familiar position, and they would have drilled this a million times. Get your underhooks. Pivot your body position. Get those hips out. Yeah. Switch position. There he goes. Same for Cam again. Outside knee. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to sweep him. Just little knee punches and knees on the inside of the leg and stuff like that. Just staying busy. Just scoring oh, does, little. You've got three judges that are seeing that right now. Yeah, 100%. There's, there's another point. You know, points here, points there. He's just chipping away at DJ. Wrist control again. Doesn't have the underhook though on what would be the right-hand side of DJ. So... Has to get the underhook in. He's not going to reverse position from there. No with 125 kilos pushing against you. He's trying to get the underhook. Yeah, I mean, this is round one and round two all over again. He's, he's a single here. He's trying to snatch that. Even from here now. Has to get the underhook in on the right hand side, which he's now done. There it is, nice call. He's just got to slightly elevate his body position and switch. Yep. Get your back off the cage. Yeah, just change that momentum, you know, just go with the inertia of it. The underhook there is pivotal now. Can try and wrestle the second underhook in or even get wrist control, but he gives up the underhook. Here we go. I mean, two minutes into round number three, it's it's pretty much been 13 minutes of Cam Dempsey pushing DJ either up against the cage or down on the mat. Yep. And once again, mate, most grueling part of the sport. Oh, they're tired. Oh, they're tired. Mate, I'm tired watching them. A bit exhausted myself. There's that underhook. Good knees by Cam Dempsey, though. Underhook and wrist control. Come, he's got a he's, turn here. Cam's not pushing that hard against him here. There's, there you go. There's that little he's, bit of he's separation. He's actually walking there we away. Go. He's trying. There he's it is. He's got it. Here we go. There it is. Yeah, separate. And the crowd Push. recognizes it. Oh, he's got a little left hand in. 
He's got the underhook just separate. Separate. Oh, he gives up the back again, though. And he smiles. He knows what's going on. I mean, he's 100% aware of what's going on. It's just he can't really do too much about it. I'm not understanding the game plan, though. He had the, he had the position. He could have just separated. He had the underhook. He There's had the control. The double, double underhooks now. Here, he's turning him now. He's got... Two minutes left. Can DJ separate and land that big this, one he This wants? is the best position he's going to get. He's got underhook. Cam shoots for the single leg. Oh, oh good big little hammer strikes fist. On the, oh, look at that. Yeah, it made Cam move. Yeah, good four or five strikes. Doesn't lock the power. 90 seconds. He's frustrated. That was a headbutt. He split him. D D Here we go. DJ actually looked over at the ref then and said, Lo, what's going on? Oh, big right hand. Staying upright. Got to get his back off the cage. He's Got to move. To land. Got to move. Can't get away. <laughs> Defending well, though. Got the underhook in again. And the big under oh, look at the strikes there. He's got the power. The power's scary. 60 seconds left. <laughs> DJ just turned at me and said 60 seconds. Yes, mate, you've got a minute. You can see the frustration. Yeah, he's frustrated. Yeah. Because he knows he's got the power. This is a striking battle. He'd be all over him. And he, and he also knows that he can stop the takedown now. It's just he can't reverse the position. That's right. And maybe that's what they didn't drill enough. Maybe they drilled the takedown defense, which has been excellent. They've only been down once in this fight. Against, a, again, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu purple belt with significant grappling experience. Yeah, 20 seconds, mate. He needs a home run. Oh, oh big strike. here it is. Oh, He's hurt it. He's oh, hurt it. Can he finish? Oh, 10 seconds to go. Can he get that separation? He really hurt him. He's going Iranian on the takedown. Oh, my God. He needed 60. Oh, wow. He needed 60 seconds. Really hurt Cam Dempsey at the end of round three. You see DJ super disappointed. Put your, take your hat off to Cam Dempsey. Rich Poole put together a perfect game plan, implemented 100% successfully. You feel for DJ because he knows that if he had that separation, he can whack those big hands. You see in the replay here, majority of the time was spent on his back or defending the takedown against the cage. When he did separate those, you'll see in a second here, he has the strikes, the overhands there, the hooks there, the uppercut was there. And you know, I hope we see that, you know, when DJ actually landed just in those last 20 seconds. You'll see, but Cam again just changed his level so well. I think this, this, is, is, it here. this is it here. And even those strikes there, the, he's got no angle to throw those punches, still hurt. DJ landed some big shots at the end of round three. Here's Justin Charles. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. And the winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Cam Dempsey!